For today's video, we will answer a geometry challenge given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. Let's start with a circle. Now, let's draw a square that is tangent to the circle. Now, on the upper right corner, let's draw a rectangle with a side length of 7 and 14 units. Now, the question here is to find the length of the radius r. Now, you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, suppose you pause this video. Now, let's see if you got the correct answer. Alright, so to answer this kind of question, we will use the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I know what you're thinking. I don't see any right triangle. I don't see also any right triangle. But using the important points like this tangent point, this intersection of the circle and the square, and the intersection of the circle and this rectangle, we can now create, we can create a right triangle. So to do that, I will show you. So let's draw the radius on these important points. And all of these lengths must be equal to the radius of the circle. Now, also take note that the radius must be perpendicular to this tangent line. Now, from here, let's drop a perpendicular segment like this. And there you go. Here is our right triangle. And now, using the side length of this rectangle, we can find the side length of this right triangle. Now, to do that, take note we have here a rectangle. Therefore, opposite side must be equal. So this side must be also equal to 14. Therefore, the side length of this right triangle must be equal to the length of the radius minus 14. So we have now the radius and r minus 14. All right. So how about this side? Now take note, the whole thing must be equal to the radius of the circle. We all know that. And this part is 7 units. Therefore, this side, this segment, must be equal to the radius of the circle minus 7 units. And take note, this is also the side length of our right triangle. So we have now the radius, r minus 7, and r minus 14. So this completes the side length of our right triangle. Therefore, we can now use this Pythagorean theorem like this. So we have r minus 14 raised to the power of 2 plus r minus 7 raised to the power of 2 equals r squared. And of course, what we're going to do to find the value of r is to expand this r minus 14 raised to the power of 2 if we do that we get r squared minus 28r plus 196. Also, we will do the same thing to this r minus 7 raised to the power of 2. This is just r squared minus 14r plus 49. And now, let's simplify more. Take note, we can now uh, eliminate this r squared on the left side and r squared on the right hand side if we subtract r squared on both sides. So this is just equal to 0. Now let's combine like terms. This negative 28r and negative 14r, if we combine this, we have negative 42r. And if we combine 196 and 49, this is just positive 245. Now we have a quadratic equation in terms of r. So let's focus on this equation. Now, this is not hard to factor because if we see that this 245 is just negative 7 times negative 35 and negative 7 plus negative 35 will give us negative 42, so we can easily say that the factored form of this quadratic equation must be equal to r minus 7 multiplied by r minus 35. So this is the factored form of our quadratic equation. And to solve for the value of r, we will use the zero property. So since it is equal to 0, at least one of them must be equal to 0. So we can say that r minus 7 equals 0 or r minus 35 equals 0. So we can now solve for the value of r. On the first equation, let's add 7 on both sides. And if we do that, we get 7x equals 7. 
on the second equation, let's add 35 on both sides. So we have r equals 35. Now, we have two possible values of r. So let's focus on those values. So r equals 7 or r equals 35. So which one is correct? Now the first question is r can be 7 units. Now if r is 7 units, r minus 7 definitely equal to 0. And a right triangle with a side of 0, so this is impossible of course. And another thing, if this r is 7, 7 minus 14, this is negative 7. So the side length of this right triangle is a negative number. So this is a big no. So this case is impossible. Therefore, the only thing left, the only values of r must be equal to 35. And that is the value of the radius r. Therefore, our answer to this question, the length of the radius r must be equal to 35 units. And as always, we are done.